Plan the outline of the block and the location of the door and window openings on the footing or slab. Place the first corner blocks on each corner. Then lay the straight blocks toward the center of each wall segment. On the first course, use zip ties on the webs to connect the blocks and pull them snugly together. Following this, install horizontal rebar by placing it in the clips at the top of the internal webs within the block cavity. The clips hold the rebar securely and eliminate the need for wire tying. Repeat this step for each course of block. Install the second course of block by reversing the corner blocks so that the second course of block is offset from the first in a running bond pattern. At this point, check for level across all of the blocks. If the courses are not level, use shims or trim the block as required. Install window and door bucks at each location where an opening is required. Cut and fit the MVIC blocks around them. Bucks are used to hold back the concrete and stay in place permanently, providing a nailing surface for the installation of windows and doors. Pressure-treated lumber or vinyl bucks may be used. Install following courses of block by continuing to overlap the courses so that all the joints are locked both above and below by overlapping blocks. Install alignment bracing around the entire wall of the structure to ensure that the walls are straight and plumb, and to enable alignment adjustment before and during the pour to maintain the walls plumb. The bracing also serves the dual purpose of providing a secure and safe framework to support scaffolding planks once five courses have been stacked. Stack the block to the full wall height for single-story construction, or just above floor height for multi-story construction. Begin installing it from the opening at the top of the wall through the spaces between the horizontal rebar. Pour the concrete into the stacked walls using a boom pump. Do this in layers, approximately 3 to 4 feet at a time, circling the structure until the top of the wall is reached. Next, use a mechanical pencil vibrator to vibrate the concrete and remove all air pockets within the wall. Screed off the concrete until it is even with the block top, and then wet set anchor bolts into the concrete top. These bolts will be used later to install the top plate, mud sill, for the installation of rafters or trusses. Remove the bracing after the concrete is cured, then proceed with further stages of construction.